longtime mainstream journalist, Katie Couric, is in the news right now because she's co-hosting a festival in New York. So she's going around giving interviews to get people to go to her event. And she just gave an interview to the New York Daily News that I found pretty hypocritical. In the interview, Couric said she believes that fake news is tearing the country apart at the seams. She said her friends sent her links to all this fake news and she just like cannot believe that people believe this crap. She called it BS actually. So Couric is just amazed and shocked about this new thing called fake news and sees it as a grave danger to us all. Now, Couric is no dummy, or at least she shouldn't be. She was a host on all three major networks, NBC, ABC, and CBS. She co-hosted the Today Show. She anchored the CBS Evening News. She's been at 60 Minutes. She had her own daytime talk show. She's a New York Times best-selling author. She's been working in mainstream news since 1979, almost 40 years. So Couric should know, as well as anyone, just how news works. Which is why I find it all so hypocritical that she, of all people, would make such a naive statement about fake news. Especially when you consider that she's now facing a $12 million defamation lawsuit about fake news she made herself. Last year, Kirk made a film called Under the Gun. In it, she asked members of the Virginia Citizens Defense League a question about background checks. The activist group supports gun rights for citizens, so Kirk was asking them a kind of gotcha question. In the film, it cuts right from Kirk asking the question to a shot of the activists just sitting silently for a whole nine seconds, not saying anything. So Kirk's film made it look like she asked a hard-hitting question that left the activists mystified and without an answer, hence making them look stupid intentionally. But that's not what happened. What happened was Kirk and the filmmakers edited the footage to make it look that way, when the activists actually did have a response. In other words, Kirk used tricky editing to fake the news. And she knows this. She knows how the news works. Seriously, they all do. All the Jake Teppers and Katie Kirks and Rachel Maddows out there, they know how the news gets made, and they know how it works, how much effort is made to convey the perspective you want to convey. And they still sit there and pretend to be outraged by this new thing called fake news. To me, either they're really stupid, or it's their outrage itself that's fake. Either way, right now, they're all ending up looking like the real fakers.